Yo, 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 you look tired. Bro, yeah, the schedule ain't no joke, man. Well, it's working. Me opening a lot of eyes, bro. I reached out to a couple of reporters and a lifestyle reporter and a beat reporter are willing to sit down. Come on, when am I going to have time for all that? Ah, uh, you don't, really. But, I mean, you can make time. I mean, for one of them, at least. Yeah, all right, look, just give me the guy number. I'll make the I call. I never said they were guys. I mean, that's a really old school way of thinking. I mean, yeah, in this case, they are both guys. But, all right, anyway, nah, you go meet them somewhere in the city. But let me know if this sounds like something you'd be interested in. I'll just show you where they're going to be at on the map. Yeah, all right, cool, Rick. Oh, one last thing. I've been doing research on both these reporters all day, so let me know if you need help making a decision. Yeah, I think, I'm, I think I'm good. I appreciate it. I'm just, I'm gonna think it through. Yeah, don't mention it. That's what I'm here for. How you doing, John? Hey, what's going My name on, is MP. <laughs> nice to be here. Yo, just thank you for agreeing to meet with me. This is exciting. No problem, man. Hey, your friend Ricky is not an easy guy to say no to, but I don't have a lot of time, so I'll just ask you a few questions, and then I'll write something up and introduce you to our readers. That sounds dope. All right, so now you're playing professional basketball. This has to be a dream come true for you. Uh, absolutely. I mean, ever since I was a kid, I've been the happiest with a ball in my hand, and and now I get paid doing for like I get to get paid doing what I love. That's you know what I know exactly what you mean. You always dreamed about being a writer. I know, um, astronaut. But uh, man, space is a tough racket. So what's been the biggest surprise during your time here with the Ignite Squad?
I guess, you know, how well it's going. I'm not saying it's been easy, but it wasn't 100% sure what to expect. And I think I've adjusted pretty well. I gotta say, you're not short of confidence. You know, I like to think I'm pretty good in my craft, so yeah. All right, man, great answer. Okay, last one. So you're looking into a crystal ball. Where are you 10 years from now? Um, I don't know. Can't worry about 10 years from now. I just know that today, I've got to keep getting better, and that's every day in every way. The future will take care of itself, John. So you're saying you don't daydream about the future? Sure I do. But those dreams are just there to push me forward because the only way to get there is to actually do the work today. All right, well, it looks like that's all I need. Thanks. Oh, that's it? Uh, all right, well, well, you're welcome. And if you ever have any questions or anything, just you know, let me know. Hey, play well, put up some points, win some games, and you'll give me something to write about. That sounds good. Thank you again, John. Right, take it easy, buddy. Yep. Welcome to our presentation of G League Basketball. In this game, we'll see the Delaware Bluecoats against Team Ignite. Alongside Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitini, I'm Dave Triga, and we're fired up to see some G League action. right now than there's ever been. Definitely, and it's just fun to watch these players develop before our eyes as they aim to reach the next level. Now, here's Indra. And Bayless with the block. Look at Bayless delivering some high effort defense and getting a hand on the shot. Back to MP. From past the arc. And it's Steele with the rebound. Indra with it. Now guarded by MP. And there's a foul called on MP. MP. That's, That's his first foul. foul. What a year they're coming off of. Sure, it was short, but man, it was action-packed. Well, they had a regular season that was really solid, but then in the playoffs, they blew out their opponents in the quarterfinals and the semifinals, only to get blown out themselves in the championship by just a fantastic Lakeland team. Outside for Bayless. Out of bounds. Out of It'll bounds. be Blue Coats ball. Just didn't make the catch. He must have thought the ball was going somewhere else. Now, here's Indra. He's guarded closely. Up top, Cassell. Rejected by AI. Don't try AI. This is his biggest strength, swat shots, and this skill, it could carry him to get a spot in the NBA. Now, here's Christie. Unloads from 13 feet, and Steele gets it to go. It must be nice for them to know that game in and game out, his offense will be there for them. And he makes that one. This is how you move the ball. MP is solid at getting the rock to open teammates. Sell, covered by AI. Pass to Christie, and stolen by Bayless. And Team Ignite on the break. A three from Diaz. Delaware grabs the miss. Right side, Christie. Off target with the three. And an interesting history for the Blue Coats. Originally, they were an affiliate to the Utah Jazz. And at that time, they were named the Utah Flash. Then, the 76ers acquired them in 2013. They then moved the team to Delaware and changed their name to the 87ers. But then, a few years ago, they were rebranded as the Blue Coats. Yeah, two count it. And the size advantage is as big as it was there. That's exactly what he should do in that situation. Take it strong to the middle. Here's Bayless. And it's Steele with the rebound. 
No one to blame but himself. He should definitely have finished that one off. Outside Christie. Pass to steal. Over Mercer. The bank shot, no good. Team McKnight trailing. MP left side. Back to Diaz. Now MP. He's guarded by Intra. Now AI. And here's MP from the arc. Again, the miss by T. McKnight. He's still yet to hit a shot this quarter. He just can't get it going, and sometimes it's just not your game. Out to Indra. Christie. 13 feet out. Nope, not that time. 0 for 2 from the field. Pass to MP. Team McKnight again missing. And his shooting numbers slipping this quarter. Sell. It's rebounded by Team McKnight. MP outside. Outside Diaz. MP. This one for three. MP can't get that one to fall. He's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Pass to Christie. Sell. Covered by MP. And that one's good. Cassell. Good pass work. The assist was right on target. And here's Team Ignite. Back to Bayless. Diaz. MP outside. Bayless left side. MP outside. That one doesn't go either for MP. He's been struggling big time in this quarter, guys. He really has tightened up. No flow to his game at the moment. Kept alive. They had some box coverage that turned into no coverage. And when he's open like that, you don't see him miss that sort of look very often. Now here's MP. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Mercer, covered by Steele. Shot clock at five. Here's MP for three. Unable to get that one to go. And that does it for the first quarter. The Blue Coats on top, up four. And quarter two will get underway just after this short break. All right, through the first quarter, what are your thoughts on MP so far? I think he's had a little trouble getting into the flow. We ended up not seeing much of him in the first quarter, but he's got plenty of time left to get aggressive. I like the energy. Substitution for Delaware. Thomas outside. Over to the left wing. MP outside. Off target from three point range. Delaware trailing. Pass to Indra. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Green by Steele. Christie with it. Now guarded by MP. Five to shoot. And that's good. Christie with the triple. Boy, he loves getting looks like that from three-point range. No one near him. On the wing, Bayless. Back to MP. Fires the three. That one falls. Three assists by Bayless. And a little background on MP here for Team Ignite. He actually has a steady following from the internet. He ran a channel where he'd upload videos of him playing ball. And here's MP. Pulls it from 20. That one doesn't go either for MP. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. He may have the lead. He might help by being a little more selective tonight. Team Ignite leading. Pass to Bayless. MP on the wing. And another three for Team Ignite. After having done in the first, he gets two three-point shots to go here. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Outside Cassell.
Shot clock at six. Pass to steal. Shoots over Mercer. Nice fake there to create the shot, but it's still good. And so that's the end of the first half. Ignite on top, up by seven. And we'll see you right after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. So with the first half of play behind us now, how do you feel about MP's play tonight? You know, he needs to fight a little harder for his spot on this roster. All of these G League guys are playing hard, so he needs to put in the extra work if he wants to truly distinguish himself on the floor. 100% agree. I mean, no one is going to hand you opportunities in this league. you got to earn them. Maybe here in the second half, he'll play with a little more urgency. MP left side. It's stolen by Steele. It's Waters on the wing, covered by Diaz. That is such a low percentage shot. Look, he's got to remember, he's got four teammates out there with him. He doesn't need to do it all by himself. Pass this is rock. a team game. Yeah. And it's MP missing. Even with the decent coverage that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Absolutely. I wouldn't bet against him in that situation next time. Tipped and stolen by Diaz. MP on the wing. Drains the 19 footer. Well, of course, you might know MP from his days in college, but you also might know him from his video channel. Yes, he's got a bit of internet fame from the basketball videos he would upload. Cassell with it. Now guarded by AI. Cassell, no good. Team Ignite with the ball. MP outside. Pass to Bayless. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. And the fandom has followed MP here to the G League. But he needs to prove that he's more than just an internet presence. And the G League will be his first real test in that regard. Everyone here is scraping for a chance at the NBA. So if you're not 100% committed to that goal, you're going to get exposed really quickly. And it's the Blue Coats with the ball. They trail by nine points. Pass to Cassell. Shoots from the elbow. Another shot. And he takes it up and lays it in. He was just the first one to react to that miss. A hustle play on the putback. Back to Diaz. To the paint. AI. And here's MP from the arc. Waters with the rebound. And he continues to search for his rhythm. It's eluded him so far. Christie, no good. He didn't punish them for the weak coverage, but they can't count on him missing. He's got to go right back to that shot. AI with it. Cassell picks him up. Here's MP for three. It's good. The assist that time from AI. You have to admire how assertive MP is. Ready to shoot as soon as he gets it. And the Blue Coats will go for a different look here. Performers. Substitution for Team Ignite. Coming onto the floor for the Blue Coats. Now here's AI. And Indra gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Tried to step in, cut him off, but not quick enough. Yeah, just one step late to get there and didn't establish position. Just a tough, tough play for that defender. MP outside. Mercer with the screen. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's going to be out of bounds. Team Ignite will retain possession.
Just three to shoot. Stolen by Indra. Harrington with the ball. Bayless picks him up. And here's Cassell from the arc. He can't get it to go. And it's Team Ignite the other way. Down low. MB. Oh, and a slam by MB. Good use of momentum by MB. Driving it hard and dunking it before that he can stop it. Outside Cassell. That drops and it comes off an assist from Indra. He's got such a sweet three-point stroke, and it can really open things up inside because as good as he shoots it, it forces the opponents uh, out to the perimeter. And there's a foul called on MP. MP. That will be his second foul of the game. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over one minute play. Pass to Cassell. Indra. Now here's Steele. He's covered by Mercer. The fader. And the Blue Coats two tack on two more. Steel. He's been a bright spot in what's otherwise been a little bit of a struggle for this team. Outside Diaz. High post Mercer. MP. Parries the long range jumper. But that three is second and a half. Equal to the total from before the break. Now here's Indra, covered by MP. Harrington outside. Back to Waters. Clock at four. For three. And they'll turn it over. Couldn't get a shot off. That's a 24 second violation. Confident play we're seeing out of them. Yeah, the scoreboard tells the story. MP left side. There's the three. Waters with the rebound. Harrington up top. Bayless defending. Here's Indra. And Indra bringing the power on the dunk. Nothing like the point guard putting the exclamation point on the play. Every generation of players pushes the limit, and the athleticism at all positions is just breathtaking. It's, it's really just, just amazing. If you told me 20 years ago, guys, that we'd be seeing point guards pull off dunks like that, I would have called you crazy, but now we're seeing it. On the wing, Diaz. Kicks it out to MB. Puts up a three. Team Ignite again missing. Indra with it. Now guarded by MP. And here's Cassell from the arc. Team Ignite with the rebound. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter now. Pass to Mercer. Diaz. Here's MP for three. That one doesn't go either for MP. The defense has nothing to worry about out there with him shooting. He just can't dial it in from deep to south. They made a great run to make this game close again, and now is no time to take uh, their foot off the gas. They've got to keep going. And I'm sure they will. I mean, they're close enough to taste it, and they're going to keep the pressure on and just keep on coming. It is just so hard to make the comeback all the way and take the lead, though. on the wing. He's guarded by Indra. Stolen by Indra. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws. First free throw is good. And that brings them within five. And that's good as he hits both shots. Absolutely flawless trip to the free throw line. And that gap just got a little narrower. MP, he's guarded by Indra. Back to Bayless. MP on the wing. And he can't stop the run as that misses. Pass to Indra. And Indra bringing the power on the dunks. Well, they needed a run to get back into this game, and they got it. Yeah, and it wasn't just about getting hot offensively. Defensively, they've been terrific, too, during this crucial stretch. Absolutely, Brian. You need both sides of the ball to get back in this game. Diaz. The three-pointer off the mark. Here's Delaware. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. He's so clutch. He, uh, saves his best 
I mean, the pressure is at its highest. Pass to MP. Let's go with a three. And it's hauled in by the Blue Coats. I like the bold move of going right back at him to return the three, but he just couldn't get it to the side. Yeah, nice basket there. Their offense has been much more impressive since halftime. And here's MP from the arc. He's off on that one. Blue Coats go the other way with it. Money! And every point they get now puts them one step closer to finishing this one off. If they haven't already done it, just a tremendous all-around performance we've seen from them. Yeah, Brian, it's been a treat to watch. One more round of applause for your performers. So it's Team Ignite now. And here's MP from the arc. It's good! And he has brought them within two. As MP continues to develop, he just becomes more consistent with me. And they go to the intentional foul. That's his a smart person. foul there to try to extend the game. Yeah, this isn't over, but the clock is as much of a problem for them as the score is right now. They need some missed free throws. And the second of two is good. And that makes it a three-point lead. Here's MP. A three-pointer here would be big. A chance to tie it up with the game on the line. From outside the arc, he's off from three. And they're going to prolong the game with an intentional foul. That's his first personal foul. Shooting for blue coats. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a five-point game. No mistakes there. I think you can close the book on this one, guys. So the Blue Coats win it. I know it didn't result in a win, but MP was a leader tonight. He was trying to will them to victory. Yeah, we can see him growing every game, gaining confidence, working hard, even when his team might have a tough night. And that's going to do it for us tonight. Blake Suniga here, along with Brian Benefitemi and Tim Swartz, thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you all next time. Okay. Man, trying? You definitely are. And I ain't the only one noticing. You know, I just got off a very important phone call inviting you to a pickup game with some former NBA stars. Yo, stop playing with me. For real, man. I mean, I think this could be a great opportunity to showcase your talent against some real NBA players. I mean, look, I'm just saying, keep this up, and managing all the people trying to get at you is going to be a full-time job. <laughs> yo, pretty soon, people are going to be sending you free stuff just to hope that people will get to see you use it. Hey, yo, free stuff, whenever they want to start, bro, I'm ready. You really ready? I'm ready, ready. Now that you mention it, I've been working the phones for the past few days trying to set up this endorsement opportunity. Look, actually, if you're not feeling a pickup game, let me know, and I got somebody you can talk to about a potential deal. Just hoping they can build on you. Man, good looking out, bro. Always, man.